Um, ah, this video, oh my gosh, wow. Okay, news, um, uh, ah. <laughs> I can't speak, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, where do I begin? Ah, wow, I have a lot of explaining to do. First off, I wanted to say, I haven't dressed like this since I was five, and I kind of miss it. <laughs> so, today, I'm going to be talking about my new puppy. Why and names and stuff like that. But first off, hello my people, I stand you all, I'm doing a giveaway. I decided to give away a onesie and a copy of my new book, Baby on Pink. It's essentially a book for kids, teenagers, adults, and it's um, an activity book that is related to serious topics and just general overall self-care and well-being, mental health. Look how cute! to end your- wait, my beautiful hair! This took me like 40 minutes, never mind. Yeah, all you have to do is follow my at Jessie page and extra entries if you follow my other Instagram, at Jessie Trash. We love that she's self-aware, at least I know. I call myself trash so other people can't do it first. And yes, I can check, I'm watching you. I love my people though, I stan. Ow. <laughs> Uh, if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, it's like this new inside joke that whenever I'm a fan of something, I say, I stand and I slam my table. I don't know how these inside jokes are. <laughs> and let's get this to 30,000 likes if you want a puppy tag. And only if this gets 30,000 likes, I clearly really stand. I will karate chop ow, all of those tables. Clearly the Plum Penguin Ninja Dojo didn't teach me much. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> Please, please, can we get it to that? I really want to do a puppy tag. Okay, let's get started. It's gonna be a quick little video, why I got a puppy, what happened. So, in case you didn't know, I've talked about it, but my, I did a tribute video on my channel, but I had a puppy that recently passed away about three weeks ago, almost a month now, in the beginning of March. For those of you that have been asking, I've been getting a lot of tweets and um, concerns, and thank you, that's really, really sweet. I'm really excited to do this video, because I think it's like seeing me in a better place, and I love posting that tribute video I think it was needed but I think now after showing myself being able to keep my door open I think it's really inspiring so I hope it inspires you in some way it's Jesse Page I like to always have meanings with my videos I got him for my birthday I had him for a week I've had puppies dogs my whole entire life my parents had a dog before they had me and before that dog passed away my golden retriever they got another dog and we we still have her, her name's Nikki, and we also have two other dogs now, so my family is three dogs. So basically, we love dogs. We all create Instagram accounts for them, we talk about them 24-7. My family stands- okay, out with that inside joke, Jesse. too much right now. You are on probation. <laughs> Essentially, it was one of the most difficult times. I didn't even want to celebrate my birthday because I felt so guilty. I don't feel like I was treating myself right after. It was horrible. He had a hereditary disease that was unpreventable. They brought him to a 24-hour vet and he passed away. And previous to that, he was seizing in my arms. I had to experience a very graphic image that has not completely left my head of his neck snapped in a very invasive way. If you would have told me after I found out that he passed away that I would be making this video, I would have, I don't even know, I would not have believed it. It really genuinely affected me so much and still has. When Ollie was having his seizure before he even passed away and I was just not even sure if I'd be able to keep him or if he was alive at that point, I literally said this, I was like, I don't want to be a parent. I was like, I, I never want to be a parent. Like, and I, I genuinely meant it in the moment. I felt it completely. I was like, I don't want to be a parent. I don't feel like I can get attached to another being like that ever again. I didn't want to, I don't even know, explore relationships, anything, but especially like being a parent. Cause I felt like I was a parent and like not being able to help your baby, especially not having that control. I mean, because I like really get anxious when it comes to control and losing my control over that situation was just absolutely devastating. So yeah, I'm really proud of myself for getting to this point. And actually, when I found out my puppy passed away, right after I had someone suggest that you should look at other puppies. Not only, oh, I have like 40 hair ties on my wrist. What are you doing, girl? You have that much hair. I literally couldn't even believe that would be a possibility. I was like, no way, I could never, absolutely. So I just took like, 
Florida minute break to go watch Steven Universe. I'm feeling very like, I just want to take a ukulele and let everyone know they're accepted, but isn't that already my branding? Oh, <laughs> anyways, moments after, briefly after, I couldn't even look at other puppies really without just feeling sadness. Like, I can't avoid it, you know? But I didn't even want to leave my apartment just because I wanted to avoid that. I literally, I, I tried to walk into the store that, it's like, it's like the format of a store, but they're, um, rescue puppies. And I just, I couldn't. I went in there and I felt horrible and it was actually only a week ago. I literally couldn't. And I was like, I don't think I'll ever be able to get a puppy. But um, then I was telling a lot of people just about how I felt. And I don't know, a lot of people were bringing to my attention that it could be very beneficial to have a puppy. And I live alone. I'm very introverted. But having Ollie in my life, I legitimately have texts that it's really sad. I said, I'm the happiest I've ever been with Ollie. Ollie makes me the happiest girl in the world. And if a puppy brings me that much joy and genuine happiness, and if the idea enticed me so much at one point, I should pay attention to that. And if I really, truly, while I had Ollie, felt that I had the time and the space to take care of a puppy, because so many people work these nine to five jobs where they're like in an office all day, but for me, I work from home. I'm always editing on my laptop or whatever it is. And I'm honestly gone from my apartment max like two hours, typically two, three maybe. And a lot of days I don't leave my apartment at all because I just work from here. I have like, so much space to give a puppy so much love and a dog and I grew up with them my whole life. When my mom had breast cancer, my dad got her one of our dogs we have now. She's a Jack Russell. And brought a new one too. <laughs> and I don't know, I think there's something beautiful and incredible about that. And I don't know, a puppy just fit into my life so well. So anyways, I was out visiting my family in Florida for a little bit. If you don't know, I grew up in New Jersey. This is, this like confuses people all the time. It's super confusing, but I grew up in New Jersey and lived in New Jersey my whole life. Yes, yeah, so very used to the snow and the cold weather. My chemical romance is also in New Jersey. And then when I moved to Los Angeles, my family, they moved to Florida at the same time. So I've never really had time to live in Florida, really. I think the longest I've spent in Florida, like two, three weeks. So I'm like, ah, oh, do I say I'm from Florida? Am I from New Jersey? Am I from LA? I don't know. But I was visiting my family in Florida. I don't know I was. Visiting my brother, the meme. What a guy, a legend, honestly. My whole family is very wholesome and pure. We, we stick. No, 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 no more of that joke. He literally like, ugh. He cried when he found out about Ollie and he never even met him. And that's just like such a sweet and honestly sad thing. I just like the image of that. Every time it's tradition for me to visit this one uh, shelter and I wanted to try it. I wanted to see if I would have the ability to. So I did and then I was able to and I actually really enjoyed the experience. I'm so proud and then I decided I would spend a few days out there and look at quite a few shelters and I ended up through a rescue program. I met a ton of puppies, but this one puppy in particular really stuck out to me. This is why. So I met him and he got on me and he like instantly felt very attached. He was super attached to me. I've never seen a tail wag so much and just started kissing my face like crazy. And I was like, wow, I wish someone else kissed me like this. <laughs> <laughs> no one else gives me that much love. <laughs> but he just started like kissing like crazy and I was like, I cannot leave without this puppy. This feels right. I feel like this is a sign. I don't know. Him reaching out to me this much? Maybe it's Ollie? I don't know. I think like that. I decided to take the opportunity and I got the puppy. Yeah. Um, so he is a mix of many breeds. We don't know exactly as to all the breeds. But he definitely has some Shih Tzu in him because he has a little squishy flat face. Definitely part Maltese too because of his coloring. He will probably be small. I'm not really sure. Ollie was very small. He's very different in that sense. It's really cool. He's, he's a little chubby one. Now moving on, why do I not have the puppy with me right now? So I got the puppy and then from my point of view, I care so much about him. I thought it would be so much for him to go from this shelter to my home in Florida and then in the span of like three days to then go to my apartment that would be so much readjusting and I wanted to make sure he especially before he was on a flight I wanted to make sure he would be exposed to different humans and 
animals and so on and wanted to make sure that he got all of his shots and he went to the vet first. Plus, he felt really right in my life, but this was like kind of the worst month for me to adopt a puppy. I'm literally gone every weekend this month, which never happens. I don't travel that much. I really don't. I'm going to Coachella, New York City, and Florida this month within like every weekend. So it would be overwhelming and I don't want him to leave him with any friends or anything. And I want to leave him with someone I know I can trust. And I trust his grandma more than anything. Plus he's developing a relationship with his grandma right now. We wanted to make sure he was completely healthy. Also, they switched his diet once he was finally in a home environment. So we're getting him used to that there as well. Also for me, I don't want to get a puppy until he's a lot older because when they're younger, their immune systems are a lot weaker and so on so I just want to make sure that he gets stronger and I get stronger so we're both at a point where we can finally meet up again but I FaceTime him every single day and I ask for 40 pictures <laughs> and it makes me so happy getting pictures of the puppy every day I did name him the meeting has incredible emotional significance probably a bit hyperbolized but it's okay and I he's named after a fictional character but it makes sense I'm going to reveal that once I get him because I just want to hold that for myself and that significance and also the name is significance to Ollie which I think is oh, just so incredibly powerful my tweeted that I got a puppy you guys were all so proud of me and that means so much to me thank you I don't know I was just expecting people to be like oh cool pictures but people were like I'm very proud of you like that was the the number one response not even just the initial response like that was what I got obviously you guys wanted pictures too of course and my people honestly I don't blame you I'm annoying and I like to keep things private for like five days so I can enjoy them for myself first but I'm really proud of myself for doing this you all will be meeting him super soon someone tweeted me this and it was so incredibly powerful and really just genuinely touched my whole entire soul I don't know I couldn't have found anything more appropriate and fitting for how I felt with the whole entire situation definitely was a source of catharsis basically the cat is saying hey please protect and love my owner I am not able to be there anymore to do that for my owner I'm not going to be there anymore so I pass that on to you your owner's gonna feed you and bathe you and treat you so well just like they treated me and I have faith in you and it's oh it's so powerful yeah okay I'm gonna go you guys will all meet him um when he's older a little bit older I gave enough information already um yeah you'll find out his name and everything and I don't know for for now I just want to like enjoy this this moment and this beautiful thing in my life and just enjoy it just for myself not in regards to social media and so on and I think that's okay but I'm going to feature my people, your amazing posts, and your pages. I love you all. I stand. Yes, I love your usernames on Instagram and Twitter. So incredible. They go from being witty to just plain out adorable. I love, I love my people. And also your posts are incredibly creative. Basically, this is like, like the mother just like putting all my kids' artwork on the fridge. There you go. Wow, we stand a great mother. All right. Spoil the kids. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the future.